Hello there guys, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Donkster Bone, Bob Bill for Theme Parks, and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update, where today we're going to be looking at the Base Camp. This is the dinosaur themed land, the first official themed land uh, with details from the London Resort. Now it's been a while since I've done an update on this, and I've not done, I'm very late to this, I'm really, really sorry about that. But, uh, as you've seen, we've gone through a massive rebrand of the channel. So, um, you know, we've, we've got the Chal name. You know, it's not Coast Chal anymore. It's just Chal. Because um, it opens up a lot more doors, doesn't it? And it's more me. You know, it feels more me. But we are we are still going to be Gongster Bomb, but built for theme parks. And today, we're going to have a look at all the details surrounding the London Resort's new base camp area. Uh, this is part of the brand new theme park opening in 2024 on the Swanscombe Peninsula site in Ebbsfleet near Kent, uh, which is near London, and we're going to look at all the details from a Blue Loop article, which I've linked in the description down below, on this area. So, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, cut the bell so you never miss another video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,500 subs, and on the road to 4,000 by the end of the year. We're also on the road to 1 million views, so please help us get there by watching the old content. It's always good to have a bit of a nostalgia binge watch, doesn't it? Uh, also, guys, check the description for social media links. Google Forms to submit your video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at all the details so far on the base camp area at the London Resort theme park development. Let's go. So the chief executive of the London Resort, P.Y. Jabao, opened up a Green Loops session on carbon neutral theme parks when he unveiled the dinosaur land known as Base Camp. Inspired by a prehistoric nature reserve, it will boast roaming dinosaurs, two coasters, advanced dart rides, and interactive dig sites, as well as dining and live stage show experiences. Base Camp's design, says P.Y. Jabao, is based on a philosophy of what an actual modern day prehistorical nature reserve might look like, which is very exciting indeed. There will be thrills, spills, and high energy rides combined with opportunities to get up and close and personal with some of the most amazing creatures to ever walk the earth. However, unlike popular films that depict dinosaurs as villains, things don't always go terribly wrong here. We are building a land of preservation and celebration of dinosaurs. So in addition to the new visuals, the, the uh, Jabal conf confirmed the recommendation to carefully review and ensure the London Resort's gold standard case for sustainability. So... Basically, in terms of detail, so uh, basically the first roller coaster uh, of the two is based on the pterosaur Quetzalcoatlus. It's hard to pronounce that name. It aims to be one of Europe's fastest coasters and will recreate the typical flight path of the Quetzalcoatlus. The second coaster will be a family-friendly offering, while an arena of 1,500 seats will put on shows amid a dense tropical forest. In addition, a motion-based 4D ride will take visitors to prehistoric waters, providing a look at ichthyosaurs, mosasaurs, and other sea-dwelling beasts. Another dark ride will immerse attraction will use uses gaming technology to allow visitors to track and tag dinosaurs and ancient reptiles in the wild. It will be home to learning opportunities, including a huge play area where young guests can explore and excavate. There will also be zip lines, climbing walls and archaeological tunnels, as well as an underwater viewing platforms. As for F and B, one restaurant is inspired by the life and legacy of scientist Mary Anning. The second restaurant is a fine dining experience with huge windows, offering thrilling visitors a look underwater at prehistoric oceans and dinosaurs. Very exciting details here from the London Resort, and it's definitely going to be, as you can see from the concept art, a absolutely prehistoric masterpiece. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is looking at the concept art and the details from the Blue Loop article on the brand new Base Camp area. So we've got two roller coasters. One is a family friendly roller coaster. Uh, from the concept art, it looks like uh, some so of your general, um, I guess, uh, Mac powered coaster in a way like a like a classic mine train style coaster but no not not the mine train cars but I mean like the classic Mac power coaster like your runaway mine train etc I mean that's what I'm just getting from it it could be like uh, Max and Moritz in a way um but the the thrilling one Europe's fastest roller coaster oh my giddy auntie how I'm excited for that one um from the concept art it looked very much I, I don't know what I don't know what track design it is. I mean, I don't know. It kind of had vibes of, from the looks of it from a distance, it kind of had B and M vibes in a way. Um, I mean, it kind of had vibes of Bolger and Mabiard. I'll put the concept art on your screen right now. Fandabidozi, look at the concept art. 
That looks like a B&M. And if I look, if I look very, very closely, and if you look very, very closely at the style of the trains, surely, surely that looks like either a wing coaster or a flying coaster. So it's very, very interesting to see what it could look like. And I'm very interested to see what it will actually be confirmed as. Uh, in terms of other attractions, the stage show looks to be brilliant. The interactivity with the dinosaurs. The fact that it's a positive look on dinosaurs rather than a villainous look is brilliant. It's a reserve to look at dinosaurs rather than a, a caged animal closure kind of thing. Um, the two dark rides, the interactive one and the one with the gaming technology to tag dinosaurs and wild beasts. Uh, the other one looking at the, the prehistoric waters, the 4D interactive dark ride, as well as the, the using the gaming technology on the second dark ride. Oh my god. The zip lines, the tunnels, the play area for the kids. It's all, it's all going to gel together so well. So, so well. It's like stepping into the future for crying out loud. So, this is going to be very, very exciting. I hope you guys come along with me on the journey to discover more about the London Resort. Because from this area alone, my god, this is arguably... In fact, no, not arguably. This it, Arguably, it's one of the most decorated theme parks in the world. But, this will absolutely be the UK's best theme park. And possibly Europe's best theme park, by a long shot. If the other areas are just as detailed as this. And if details are going to come out more and more about these areas, I really can't wait for it. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, I am the C-H-A-L-L. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day. Goodbye for now. Ta-ta. So long. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.